Developing right now in Annapolis, three people are dead after a shooting in a parking lot of a hotel. We first brought you this story as it was breaking at 5 o'clock. Since then, we've learned quite a bit more. Adam Longo is here to walk us through what we know. At so, Leslie, right before I walked in here, I went through my email, checked law enforcement social media pages. We're still waiting for an update from Anne Arundel County Police that names the suspect and the victims in this shooting. Now, we are told from police that this was a double murder suicide. It was not any sort of random active shooter situation. The men and women who were shot were clearly targeted. This video that you're seeing here is coming to us from the ground. There's actually two different crime scenes I'm going to show you. Let me take you out to Sky 9 video and lay out what happened for you here. So this whole thing originated right outside of a Holiday Inn Hotel in Annapolis in the parking lot, actually, where police say the male suspect shot a man and a woman and then turned the gun on himself. Now, the suspect and the female victim, they, they died right there at the scene. The other male victim was able to drive over to this nearby tackle shop, would call for help, but he didn't make it. It wasn't that far away. He died of his injuries outside of that store that was within sight of the Holiday Inn. Anne Arundel County Police Chief Amal Awood said that her detectives hadn't yet established the nature of the relationship between the three people involved, nor was she able to offer any information about the gun used in the crime. She did, however, implore people that if they notice signs in a friend or loved one that they might be despondent or maybe intent on hurting someone, maybe they say something, they're asking that you call police and that their crisis response team can quickly jump into action. More on this story as details become available. Leslie. Hey, yet another sad story and a lineup of sad stories to share tonight. Ads, thank you.